What up though? What is cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope all of you guys are doing well and I damn sure hope you're keeping cool, okay? Because <laughs> it is hot outside, y'all. So we're about to get into this reading and see what it is that you guys need to know. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, I still am running my special. All the information you guys will be in the description box below. So we're going to start off this reading with my I am deck. So let's pull and see what we should be thankful for, okay? All right, what should me and my Scorpios be thankful for at this time? Damn, okay. <laughs> all right, so let's take what we got. We got four cards here. So we have heartbreak. So all of us at some point in time, either we experienced heartbreak in the past. Some of us could have recently went through some type of heartbreak. But I feel like without that heartbreak, like, you know, with every separation or every time our heart get broken, you know, there's a lesson behind it. And I feel like, you know, if it wasn't for the heartbreak and the emotional pain and all the suffering that we went through, like we wouldn't have bossed up. You know what I'm saying? We one, wouldn't have learned those valuable lessons so that we wouldn't keep going through heartache and pain. But I feel like this is what kind of molded us or is going to set us on the path to where we need to be. Now, we don't want to be molded as being cold, but, you know, sometimes you understand, like, man, that person didn't break my heart. Like, I still be, you know, chasing them, or I still be doing this and that. So it's like you're starting to look at some type of heartbreak as more as a lesson, okay? I feel like a lot of us were very loving, very giving, you know what I'm saying? And I think, who was that? Roberta, yes. I had put it up. Uh, I posted a post the other day on the community board that was saying, you know, sometimes we'll give our all to people, you know what I'm saying? And then we wind up betraying ourselves because we were giving our all to everybody. So I feel like a lot of us, we're hard. You know what I'm saying? When we love Scorpio, we love hard. I know I do. But sometimes we will put ourselves in situations or that we'll love so hard that we don't realize, like, we didn't reach the max on what's the limit that we should be taking. So I feel like now because of heartbreak, you know, you are, the next man or the next woman that you get with, you'll be able to say, all right, this is enough. Like, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen the first time. It ain't going to take no three and 12 and 16 times for you to realize that you done had enough, okay? But even through all of this stuff that you go through, we still have the ability to forgive. Like I said, you know, oftentimes when you go through heartache and pain or something that hurts so bad, you know, you often become cold and heartless and very distant and you're not in tune with your feelings and emotions but we've learned to first forgive ourselves then also forgive those who hurt us you know what i'm saying forgiveness is key in this life that we live and then we got having the ability to say no so some of us yes people pleasers some of you guys could still be struggling you know, we're doing any and everything to please everybody but yourself. But now some of us, when somebody asks us something, we'll say no without thinking about it. Like, damn, I probably would have said yeah, but I'm just so, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're so used to saying yes, it's time to change your vocabulary, switch it up a little bit, and say no. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those people you always saying yeah to, try telling their ass no just one time, Scorpio, and see how differently they treat you. See how they get to acting a little funny, because now you ain't doing what they want you to do, okay? All right, y'all, so we're going to get into this Celtic, and we're going to see what it is that spirit wants you to know. I love you, Scorpio, and if anything has been resonating with you guys so far, don't forget to like this video, okay? All right, so this first card is going to tell us who this reading is about. So who is this reading going to be about for Scorpio? Who is this reading going to be about? One more shuffle. Who is this reading going to be about? All right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we starting off like that spirit. That's what I'm talking about. So we starting off with the nine of pentacles. Okay. So we starting off this read. This is about money. You guys, you could be seeing nine, nine, nine. Virgo season could be very uh, significant for some of you. But it talks about the heart. So I feel like for 
a lot of us, we could have experienced some type of money blocks or something, you know, because we didn't know how to cope well with heartache and pain. Every time we would get heartbroken, we would just kind of close and shut ourselves down to everybody. You know what I'm saying? And when you shut down your heart, when you have any blockages, not in your heart, just anywhere, you know, that you, you, you're keeping things from coming in. You're keeping those blessings and things that Spirit is trying to give you here. So this talks about financial security, baby. Two words I can't wait to say and scream every day, okay? I might give me a banner and put it in my yard and be like, bitch, I am financially secure, okay? <laughs> so what this means, Scorpio, is that we don't have to worry about how we're going to pay this, how we're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we already got the money. This talks about you being very independent and you're a self-starter. But see, this woman sitting up here in the garden, she got a hand on the pinnacles. You know, she got time to look at the birds and just enjoy this moment. You see those mountain mountains behind her? That means she, she went through a lot of obstacles. Like, it just wasn't given to her. This money, you know what I'm saying, being very fruitful, being able to multiply, like, that shit wasn't given to her. This this was a long journey. This has been a long road for a lot of us stepping into becoming an entrepreneur, stepping into becoming financially secure here. But you're very grateful. You feel very safe. You feel secure. You're finally being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor after feeling like you've been slaving for a long ass time, okay? Some of you guys will be single, but you're still going to feel empowered. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you might still, you know, be in a way longing for someone to share happiness with, but at the same time, you just enjoying, like, shit, you enjoying the fruits of your labor. You just sit back and actually get to enjoy this shit, you know? Enjoy the hard work that you put in. Enjoy that dedication, them long hours, them late nights. Like, enjoy and sit back and be thankful. Be like, man, that's what it was all about, you know? So what's the situation now that you in this nine of pinnacles energy? Because you know how this shit go, y'all. All right, so what is the situation with the Nine of Pentacles? What's the situation? Ooh, nah, Scorpio, hold on, baby. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups. So I feel like Scorpio. Ooh. Now, I'm going to just tell you what I'm looking at, just, just from what I see. I feel like some of you guys, this is like... It's like you finally stepping into that energy of becoming financially secure, like your money good, like you enjoying shit. But it's like you also get your ten of cups too. So it's like you get your money and your 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 wish fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? Your happily ever after. For some of you, you're gonna be counting your blessings because you knew what you went through. We all y'all been seeing my struggle. I don't know a lot of you guys are struggling. You know what I'm saying? You share with me for for that, for those who do share yes. You know, but what I'm trying to say is everybody don't know what it took for the next person to get to the place they at, right? So you're going to count each and every one of your blessings because this is total happiness. Like the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, it don't get no better than this. And for some of you, you're going to be finding your soulmate, okay? This is two people sitting up here with family celebrating kids. You know what I'm saying? All these cups are filled. Ain't no cups that's being empty. Like you are fulfilled here. For some of you, this talks about a spiritual alignment. You and someone becoming spiritually aligned, celebrating marriage, lasting bonds, here, okay? Ultimate happiness. For some of us, shit, we may be getting money in our boot too, okay? Yeah, make sure my mic, y'all, these mics be tripping here. Okay, so let's see what happened in the recent past. What had to happen in order for us to step into this type of energy? I love you, Scorpio. So what happened? You can be dealing with Virgo or Pisces. Ooh, okay. So in the recent past, Scorpio, you had to have a fresh, brand new beginning here, okay? We got the Ace of Wands. But I feel like this opportunity or, or beginning that you experienced, this was like a gift. This was like a blessing from God here, okay? But I feel like even before you had this brand new beginning, you still had to, y'all. Even time I look and see these hills and mountains, that means you went through some things before you were blessed with this new opportunity. All right, now, this could be some, starting some type of new adventure. This could be something you're very passionate about that brings a lot of excitement. All right, you could be receiving some type of exciting news or somebody or something has sparked your attraction. And for some of you shit, we talking about marriage, uh, you and your husband and wife gonna be having lots of good sex, Scorpio. Y'all know that's right up by. Hey, we need that too. We need love and we need some good loving too, okay? 
So you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, don't have to be. So in the recent past, I feel like you were presented with some type of new beginning in your life, okay? You started something new. Maybe you started a new job, a new business venture. You know, you were blessed with some type of opportunity or some type of new beginning in life, okay? So you could have been seeing lots of 11, 11, 1, 1, 1 here. All right, so let's see what the current problem is. Oh, this is looking good, Scorpio. I don't know what the hell the current problem is going to be. So what is the current problem when it comes to this nine of pentacles? What is the current problem, Holy Spirit, when it comes to the nine of pentacles for Scorpio? All right, so the current problem is, is the seven of cups, okay? And this is Scorpio energy, but this is in reverse, okay? So this talks about maybe some type of illusion was created. Maybe you feel like the people made you feel like you wasn't going to never be able to be successful or have your own business or be able to do this and do that. Now, I feel like for some of you, because remember earlier I talked about experiencing this Ten of Cups, okay? Now, this Seven of Cups and Ten of Cups, I feel like go together because this has to do with some type of emotional connection or fulfillment, okay? Now, somebody in the past, could have been indecisive about you. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, like I said, you or some of you guys are about to be like this new beginning, this new, like this is like everything new in your life. We're talking about new money, new love, like everything start is new. You see what I'm saying? Like a, a whole new fresh start. For some of you, that could have been someone, like I said, was needing to make a decision about you. And they're gonna make that decision. They, they know exactly who they want. They could have been confused of the heart. All right, maybe they didn't have the ability to focus, Scorpio, or some of you, these new beginners are going to come with multiple options. Like, you're going to have to sit down and really, you know, balance the scales and figure out which choice is going to be best for you. All right, so let's see what the outside influences are. Messages for my Scorpio. So what are the outside influences when it comes to the Nine of Pentacles? Look at this. I can't make this up. Ten of Pentacles. All right, so this talks about someone here could have had experience, you know, like wealth and success. They could have been married, had family ties, had some type of financial abundance. This could have been some type of inheritance, but all that, all that has come crashing down. Them feeling safe and secure. You know, someone here could have lost their inheritance, lost this money, people fighting over money, the plans they had for this money done changed, okay? So for some of you, this could have been you. Maybe you had these things in the past. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times when we bless the stuff, we don't know how to, you know, especially if you're not good with money. You could have been someone, you know, you got this blessing and, or some type of inheritance or windfall, you know, but you blew it. So you had to struggle for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Until spirit blessed you again here. For some of you, a new beginning was kind of based, like, I feel like someone here was watching you rise to start, you know what I'm saying, become very successful. And some of us like, uh-uh, I can't let Scorpio get away. Like, someone felt like if you became a little bit, you know what I'm saying, too much, like, you was going to be out of reach. And someone here didn't want you to be out of reach here, okay? So this Ten of Pentacles is ending, you know what I'm saying? Someone here feeling safe and unsecure. For some of you, this could have been what, this is how you got your Ten of Cups. Or there could be someone else here who is ending something to, to have their Ten of Cups here, okay? Give me one more about this uh, Ten of Pentacles. Tell me one more about the Ten of Pentacles, I'll see you. Yeah. Someone here went through some type of betrayal or, you know, something in their life. And they was like, uh-uh, I got to have my wish fulfilled. And they were backstabbed, could have been bullied. Okay, high level of gossip, being embarrassed. Yeah, this is what they went through, and they had to end this shit. So they could have been with someone who they thought they were going to have wealth and success. Like, this could have been someone who they thought they were going to have Ten of Pentacles with. She's going to get the Ten of Cups, okay? Because it wasn't never about money. Someone here was too focused on money and the material things, okay? And this could have been someone who went through heartbreak or well. They had to learn, like, shit, money can't buy you happiness, especially if you're going about it the wrong way here. Because they got backstabbed. But now, you and this person, for some of you, hey, take a high resume. You want to get this Ten of Cups. So let's see what the outcome is going to be. Because the situation is this Ten of Cups, baby. So let's see what the outcome is going to be 
for Scorpio, and then we'll roll and see what it's about. So what is going to be the outcome? Mm, eight of Swords. You have someone here that was that had on this blindfold who didn't want to see the truth. Someone who could have been escaping reality. Someone who could have been scared. Okay, and they weren't able to come towards you. But they're regaining control over their life. Tell us more about this Eight of Swords. Could have been feelings and emotions that weren't expressed. Someone here didn't feel very grounded. They didn't feel safe and secure within themselves. Their stability was gone. Look at this. And a new opportunity, a blessing. For some of you, this could be a job offer. Because we got pentacles, baby. We got what? Ten of pentacles, ace of pentacles. And nine of pentacles. Thought we had more damn pentacles in there. Anyway, we got three. So I feel like this is still a blessing. This is some type of beginning stages, a relationship, a seed being planted. Yeah. This is some type of offer coming in. And for some of you, this offer that's coming in is going to lead you to this ten of pentacles. Okay? But only after either you've experienced this ten of pentacles or someone else has. Okay? But this is in reverse. So that means after this ten of pentacles has come crashing down here okay all right y'all so let me get my dice let's see who this reading is about all right y'all so let's see who this reading is about i'm just gonna roll the dice so let's see who this is about all right so we got scorpio capricorn cancer virgo we got capricorn libra sag virgo and we have capricorn taurus aquarius hold on heavy taurus capricorn and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.